I thought Jaime did excellent against the current face of boxing right now. Um, I strongly feel that uh, I take nothing away from Canelo. I've always said he's, he's, a, he's a good fighter in the ring. Uh, but this experience for Jaime will just take him to another level. It's just like, it's just like Mayweather and Canelo, it's same thing. You know, Canelo got schooled and then, then he became the face of boxing. He became a good fighter. Same thing with, uh, with, with Munguia. He gains experience. He didn't get schooled, but he gains experience and becomes a better fighter. So this is just the beginning for Jaime. This is fucking Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> It's green. Waiting for his opportunity and that uppercut right there. Beautiful shot by the shorter man. Threw away that left hook. Just to land a big, big right uppercut from bottom. Speaking of Davis and Canelo, here's the photo op. We'll let the crowd take it from here. What's next? And David Benavides. Is the, is the person that everybody across the uh, across this country and across the world would like to see you fight. You said earlier this week, you're willing. What are your thoughts now? I don't know right now. I'm, I'm going to rest. I'm going to enjoy my family. But uh, you know, if the money is right, I made a call. If the money not, is, is right, I can fight right now. I don't give a shit. So Canelo Alvarez overcomes Jamie Mungia by unanimous decision following 12 rounds. And now Canelo Alvarez is being questioned over his next fight with David. Next, and David Benavides is the is the person that everybody across the uh, across this country and across the world would like to see you fight. You said earlier this week you're willing. What are your thoughts now? I don't know right now. I'm I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna enjoy my family. But uh, you know, if the money is right, I made a call. If the money not, is, is right, I can fight right now. I don't give a shit. So, have I ever asked you about steroids ever in my life? You never asked me, no. Did you do your B sample already? I just requested it. Yeah, because people were saying, they, they said that you like wanted to speed up the process and do the B sample like faster. Bro, I want the B, bro, I'm literally, I was like, bro, let's, like, I'll piss in the cup right now. Doc, I don't do steroids, bro. Like, can somebody help me out here, bro? I don't do steroids. It just tough. It just tough when you pop. Bro, all I do is black coffee, <laughs> and tequila, and but, weed. But but what? But like, if the test is saying that you did, then like, how do bro, you? Oh, some they have, bro. There's only one way. If all my tests came out clean, all the way up to what was that day before my fight, and the day after, obviously they're setting me up, bro. Bro, there's, it's only, bro, I don't take steroids, dog. What the f I don't take steroids, dog. This is, bro, this is like, I shouldn't have to be dealing with. But because I won, they threw shit on me, bro. I don't do steroids. Like, that's weird, bro. I've never done steroids in my life. But Ryan, if you did, if you did do it, then that's really uh, f***ed up, bro. And I'm, I'm bro, I didn't off. do it, bro. I'm going to be pissed off. At you bro, as a friend, I'll and like that's fucked up. I'll punch myself in the face up, right bro. now, bro. I'll punch if, myself if you, in the face. If you did though, if like I, that's I, fucked If up. I did it, bro, which I know damn well I didn't, I would have quit boxing, bro. I didn't do it, bro. I didn't do it. I could have hurt him. I could have killed him. Why the fuck would I do that, bro? That's so stupid. I'm not. I'm not gonna do it, bro. I would never cheat, bro.
Next, in anticipation of his bout with Jake Paul, Mike Tyson releases fresh training video. On July 20, Mike Tyson and Jake Paul will square off on Netflix. David CV is not as strong as Jamie Mungia, as explained by Aiken Rias. Fans have a problem with Canelo Alvarez fighting Jaime Mungia instead of fighting David Benavidez. Now, if we're talking skill level, who you feel is the better fight out the two, that's all subjective. Fight fans are entitled to their opinion in that regard. But let's talk about a few factual points really quickly. Jaime Mungia, David Benavidez, both undefeated fighters. Jaime Mungia, a lot more wins. Both fighters held world titles. Jaime Mugia, five title defenses. David Benavides, one title defense. We talk about either fighter missing weight. Jaime Mugia never. David Benavides, yes. We talk about either fighter testing positive for a drug test. Jaime Mugia never. David Benavides, yes. We talk about a fighter who has ever been knocked down in a fight. Jaime Mugia never. David Benavides, yes. So I'm not saying that David is, isn't a great fighter. And we all will want to see great fights. But please stop discrediting Canelo Alvarez for picking Jaime Munguia. Let's talk about it. Next, Tank Davis discusses his beliefs. Why are you standing with Ryan Garcia over this? How can you stand with Ryan Garcia over the failed tests? See, I know, I, you know why I'm back around? Because I'm not a boxer going to What When we fought... We made it cool, not saying like, but we made it cool to go at Brian like that. Brian is not somebody that, that, that he really like confrontation. You know? so for people to like go at him, I feel as though, and you see how serious they, why did it take 30, I mean, um, 72 hours for the test to come back, right? Came back after the fight, yeah. Right. So why didn't come out? That Tuesday or that week, that they waited to Canelo fight to uh, to push that he had something in his drug. Then once they pushed that, Devin and them was on ESPN that night promoting that he he was it's all it's all in. I'm telling you. I'm what about your thoughts on right, Victor Conte being about what Ryan said? The words that fought Devin would be too easy. Say, Bro, go look at Ryan fight and go. I mean, go look at Ryan versus Devin, and go look at my fight versus Devin. I mean, uh, versus Ryan. You can tell that Ryan didn't look no different. If, if he looked any different, he probably looked his worst. He just was a bigger, a bigger person, much slower. If he was on anything, why he didn't have strip him all his like every punch, the brick hand, the jab, everything would have been strong. He only hit him with the same punch I told everybody, a hook, a hook, a hook, which is Devin was sitting right there to get close to the hook. And they talk about this thing is, uh, my bad, uh, whatever, pound for pound, or whatever. Phil and Ali call him the fancy boxer. They call him the fancy boxer. Who's going to pull a fight with black fighter now? What you say about that, bro? Yeah, Adrian, what do you think about that? What do you think about that? On May 12 in Australia, Vasily Lomachenko and George Jr. will square off for the IBF lightweight title. Could take the upper hand over Lomachenko. Yet, he would find it difficult to counter Lomachenko's southpaw stance and straight left hands.